Hi, Dr. Bruce here. In this video, I will cover an overview of homeostasis. First of all, homeostasis is the ability of a system or organism to maintain a stable state. This is done by way of feedback mechanisms. When you think of feedback mechanisms, you need to think about the stimulus and response. The stimulus is what is monitored by the system and the response is how the system responds to it. In positive feedback, the stimulus and response are the same, and in negative feedback, the stimulus and response are opposite. The thermostat is a good example of how feedback works. Let's say the thermostat is set at 70 degrees and the temperature drops outside. The room gets colder and the thermostat senses this. The response is to turn on the heat and warm up the room. The stimulus, room getting colder, is opposite to the response of room warming up. So this is negative feedback. An example of positive feedback would be a stampede. One cow running can cause more cows to run. The stimulus of one cow running results in the response of many cows running. The stimulus and response are the same, so this is positive feedback. Here are some human body examples. Blood glucose levels are held within a normal range. If glucose goes up, which is the stimulus, the pancreas responds by secreting insulin, which brings glucose back down. The stimulus and response are opposite, so this is negative feedback. If glucose goes down, the pancreas responds by secreting glucagon, which increases the level of blood glucose. Again, the stimulus and response are opposite, so this is negative feedback. Positive feedback happens during childbirth, with the release of oxytocin, which causes more oxytocin to be released. Positive feedback tends to magnify the stimulus. Most of the feedback systems in the human body are negative. There are only very few positive feedback systems. I hope you've learned something about homeostasis and see you next time.